Hello and welcome back to Spyro Reignited with Spyro the Dragon. So Spyro the Dragon Reignited. Is that right? How, how do we get that enough all of the titles in here? I I don't have to chase you. I know this. I know this. You know this. Why are we doing this? I mean, this is probably going to be at some point uh, something that will make me want to make sure I have enough resources, enough lives to pass on to future points and levels and stuff. So hunting down some extra lives doesn't hurt probably, but still still something that just makes me run around and spin in a circle, which I didn't know how good good entertainment that is. Honestly, I'd be entertained, but that's me. I'm easily entertained. That's gonna be evidenced here. Yeah. Oh, we can't jump like that. I was hoping to hop just like the chickens. But our hoping is slightly different. Hey, wake up! Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the right stick to get a good look. You say that, yeah. In most situations, running with your charge active is more than enough. Are you already considered defeated? I guess so. Can I use you as a platform? No. Okay, well, have a rest. Ooh, what's this? That's fun. So it's like a mini game chest. I don't remember those from before. Uh, might have been in the dragon, and I just didn't play that before. Or it might be f new with the whole reignited thing. I guess we'll find out that when we go to Ripto's Revenge. Which I What's it, Ripto's Revenge? Or Ripta's Rage, right, that one. Thanks, Spyro. <laughs> I had the worst itch on the tip of my wing. Did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing the jump button at the very top of your jump? So I've been told. Oh, hello. Hello. There's no need to leave them just embarrassed when we can cook them. Plus they'll be in my way if I want to charge anything else. Apparently if I just go ahead and do this immediately that doesn't leave that mess around for us to worry about. Dressed in blue, running around here. He's a thief, and he's stolen a dragon egg. You've got to track him down and, and get that egg. Run, run! <laughs> oh, I'm getting a little winded. Don't forget your knife. The one has to know I forget your knife and let me have it. Okay, no, yeah, this is also a map that's over a hundred when it comes to. Treasure, which means I need to figure out exactly how I get to the other areas. Because I want to go up there, that's for sure. That looks like the key. The only pr problem is me learning how to glide by jumping at the very end of my jump. And then not trying to rely on the whole 
mechanic that was introduced in Spyro 2, which allowed us to hit the triangle at the end of the glide to uh, li fly up a little bit. But that's not currently an option I didn't think. Oop. But that's, that's a lot of gems up here. And I'd rather not get lost up here while chasing, so... Okay, so we want to go over to this side. Almost fell down and would have had to do that whole thing over again. Which would not have been ideal, I would presume. Right, so that's how that works. That's how that guy works. Okay, we've got all the gems. We've got all the dragons. Where's your hammer, Thor? Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. You can always check your progress by accessing the guidebook through the pause menu. Oh, thank you. It's Sorry about asking about your hammer, you don't seem like the hammering type at all. I guess that would break your pottery. Okay, and now we have to figure out how to get it back up here. Because there's someone out here who is nyanyanyanyang. And I don't know where he is. I feel like he's gone down a different route. Oh, he's down here now. You busted. Oh, and now I'm at the very beginning of the level. Not quite my intention. So I'm going to have to catch the guy in a very specific frame of time. Sounds to me like this is going to be a bit more challenging than the last egg hunt. Okay, I'm gonna take that short guard. So is that what he does? He just grins meanly and then just uh, baits me over there and then just jumps back up. Sounds to me like I should learn how to use my fire breath. Oops, speaking of having to learn, I have to learn not to glide from charging. That's an old habit that's gonna get me killed. Not to be mistaken for a hole or an old hobbit that will get me killed. That's Bilbo. Right, let's go. We have finished our business here and I believe now we should head into the artisan world boss, right? I'm not 100% sure what that gives me, but sounds like something I should do. Because supposedly the balloon is already available to me. Thanks to the fact that I got stuff here and stuff there. So I think to the dragon mouth doesn't seem like I... Uh, I have to do it necessar necess necessarily. Yes, it's an option. Open your mouth. Toasty. Sounds like he'll be toast. Or I'll be toast. What else did you? 
I like that they've gone for the same seamless effect, but it's not quite as seamless now, is it? Because there was that fade to white between entering the portal and the, the flying stage. <gasps> Shepard! <gasps> and the Shepard has a dog? And the dog has multiple hit points. Important to know. Oh god, these dogs are bad. Oop. You okay, doggy? Well, it seems so. Okay, so charging these dogs, not a good option. So we're gonna have to play this a little bit more carefully. Speaking of playing more carefully, that's not what I meant. Alright, so now we need to find the sheep. Was there any sheep at the entrance of the level? No, but there are certainly gems, and gems are quite important as well. Yep, that's me dead. We didn't get to the boss fight, and I'm already having trouble. Got them jumping doggos. I very much understand what's giving me trouble with them. It's the fact that they dodge my flame when they jump up. And once they've done that... I should remember I have dodge rolls. Literally. This should... Could be something I could utilize with these doggos. I said I got to utilize those with these doggos. Not that they did that. Currently, I have to run very much hit and... Well, hit and run. Or what you call them? That's what I said. I have to run, hit and run. Make up. Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring him on. I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. Toasty has many tricks up his sleeve. Is that so? Well, presently... Dogs are already too tricky for me. Oh, and the shepherd hit me. Whoops. So that's another life gone. Oh, but yeah, we had a checkpoint just here. Yeah, okay. Well, just have to check over this way. Once we've done that. They seem to have a grace period as well, which is not to my liking. Okay, so they were all standing out here. But that's all it was. It was just a little bit of uh, extra treasure, yeah? Yeah. Cool. They were not guarding anything more important than that. God damn doggos. Not only does it feel bad to hurt a dog. Oh my god, 
that's a, that's a very angry sheep. They're almost as angry as the shepherds by the look of it. Looks of it even. So am I to understand that you are Dosty? Seems like it. And this is a 100 gem level? Yep. Making sure that 100% level complete. Yep, and we can continue on. Please give me your things. I need sparks. Okay, sparks is okay now. Good, good, good. And that means we can run down this corridor. There we have a little bit of a nork. And then we can come here and travel. Rescuing Dragon Spyro. You may travel to the Peacekeeper's world if you like. Are you ready to go? Yep. That was extremely rude of you, Spyro. Heads are not steps most of the time. Unless it's the heads of your enemies and you crush them beneath your heel as steps to your. Ongoing conquest. I think I was going somewhere, I don't remember where. With that whole speech anyway. Oh hey, look, dragon, right here, right now. Wake up. Welcome to Peacekeepers. Look how our treasure has been stolen and turned against us. Please, recover our treasure, Spyro. Collect treasure, got it. I mean, right, there's like 1400 treasure out here, and they have all been turned into enemies, or just scattered about. No, 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 no none of that. There's no need to cannon my face. My face is perfectly fine without being cannon. Okay, I remember this zone, and I like how they go down saluting. That's a very, very nice touch. Oh, I missed one. Did you just show me your ass? That's a, that's a bit rude, now isn't it? Not like like consent is very important, you know. I did not consent to being f flashed in that regard. What's this hole? No idea, but there's a skill point in it. Oh, and good life. Oh right, no no no, I now remember something, I remember someone somewhere told me something about skill points at some point. I think someone... Was it Jim Sterling who did that impression on Reunited? Maybe that's where I remember it is from. Like the special skill points, uh, which we can look at over here. Ah, cool. Awesome. I guess these are something I can look into. This can help me along my desire to complete everything. 
And let's be fair, the Spyro games were the first games I ever got to over a hundred percent on. Hey Spyro, Sparks the Dragonfly has been doing a good job protecting you. Make sure to keep him strong by feeding him lots of butterflies. Thank you. I'll do my best. Right, and here's the ice cavern. Which is something for next week, I'm sure. Yes. Well, most of the stuff within the missions itself themselves are going to be for next week. Nice. Oh, this is another key one. No, these are not key ones. These are not at all key ones. Unless you consider this a key. Which you might. I mean, it certainly does open things, so it might as well be counted as a type of key. But just remember, you know, don't install that as your, like, home key or anything like that, because you might not want to blow off the home door. Because the Dr. Shemp is, by the looks of it, a more active boss fight, and I just fell in the goo and died I died in the goo let's get rid of those so I have clearer sight of everything then let's try this again oh there's bunny rabbits here No, 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 now yourself. Get up. Well done, Spyro. Keep up the good work, and I know you'll fulfill your destiny. Destiny? I just want to kick some. Just toast those enemies and collect the treasure. I mean, as far as uh, destiny skill, that's not bad. No, it recovers, because there's too much liquid inside. No, that's where I came from, that direction. Right, 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 right. And there's a door over there, and there's some gems over there, as well as some gems over there, but I want to come here. I say that... But that was beyond my skill level. Obviously. What can we fire this cannon at? Eh, not much, I guess. Come on, Sparks. Got adventuring to do. At, uh, currently, by adventuring, I mean we have to get back to that one place where I fell down. Yes. Oh, well, then we can just come here, grab those. Is there anything down there that I might want? That appears to be a no. But, there's something over here that I initially missed. All 
right, right, right. I need to start remembering exactly what key does what. Teuton even. Since I am... Using the thing, the gamepad. And despite the fact that it may say <laughs> why on the screen, I still think of it as triangle. Because that's just how I roll. And apparently this this room no longer has anything else for us to explore. So I believe our next task lies this way. Where we will continue next time. So I will thank you here for watching and then I will stick by you before this whole loading screen so remember if you want uh, like and subscribe those are good things probably tell your friends about this place this is a place now yes because honestly playing these games and editing them is sort of satisfying on their own but having someone watch stuff that I make is also pretty good fun. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.